The city of Milan in football is divided between red and blue. And in today's rebuild battle, I'm taking the red side. There's no doubt Dad and I build incredible squads, but of course, there can only be one winner. Runner up in no. the Champions League. Dad, we had very limited budgets in yeah. this first season, but I still think you spent quite wisely. I still had a good side, so it was just a case of just trying to strengthen it, I think, really. So, yeah, so I went into the free the free market and got myself a what I think is a, a good reserve goalkeeper, so. Yep, David Sorry, of course, Inter Milan lost a goalkeeper in the summer in Andre Onana. Yeah. They brought in Jan Sommer, in case anybody didn't know. David Soria is another goalkeeper as a backup. Yeah. You also brought in Ferdy. Yeah, I just thought I bought this guy in just because of the positions he could play. So what a squad player, it just covered everything and not a bad price as well for him. Absolutely. Even the comment section is going... Dad loves a squad player. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that a few times. Thank you very much for all your comments. Morton Thorsby comes in, £8 million. Pounds. Yeah, I just wanted to strengthen up my midfield, and I just thought he was really good in there. I mean, you look at all his being in mental attributes mental and his attributes, physicals. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they're all there for me to take, you know, so I've just thought, right, good squad player. Yeah, he loves a good squad player. <laughs> okay, before we take a look at Dad's tactic, let's have a look at the transfers that I made. I only made one, but I did sell a couple of players because I didn't really have any money. I sold Yunus Munza to Manchester City. Divock Origi, I sold for £5 million. Uh, Yasin Adli as well for about 4.6, which left me with around about £40 million. And I brought in another midfielder, Mikel Marino. I needed a better centre midfielder because what I had didn't quite suit what I wanted. I needed a deep line playmaker because, of course, they lost Sandro Tonali yeah. to Newcastle. And I feel like they haven't really replaced him, no. especially on football manager terms. So Mikel Marino comes in for 39 million pounds. Let's take a look at my tactic first then. I'm going with a bog standard 4-3-3 but I've got a centre midfield on attack in Di Catalare. Uh, I think he could be really good in this position if he is up to his full potential, if he has one. Very bog standard. If I went with my best 11, you'll see Di Catalare leave. Of course, I've got the likes of Ben Acer. I've longed out Pabega, which meant that I needed to bring in that extra midfielder. Uh, we've got Kalulu, who can also play right back or centre back. I've got quite an age in defence, but the main man, of course, Tomori, is going to be there for a while. Liao and Giroud is my my goal threats. Never old in yeah. getting old in it. So, but Giroud's 36, I mean, 36 but, but my word. Look at it. Look, it's He's disgusting, incredible. isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. And what a good looking bloke. Well, you always say that, don't you? What a good looking bloke. I mean, is it your wife a fantasy him rotten? She fancies him a lot. Uh, I mean, she obviously has a type. Yeah. So, <laughs> nothing like him. Uh, into Milan. Let's have a look at Dad's tactic, what he is running. He is running this. is a mm. three at the back, three defensive midfield, two in midfield, two up I had top. a bit more to think about this one before I started doing it, and I played it at home. I thought, well, Italian are all defence, and they, they play their attackers and more defences, and I'm thinking... I'm going to do that. Right. So I tried it, and I tried it on my, on my, on my computer at home, and I won the league. Wow. So this is, the, this is the tactic that I, I won with. Yeah. So I'm going with it. Right, okay. So it's kind of a 5-3-2, but you want Morton Thorsby in there, and the reason for that is because when we were playing and every time our assistant picked, Morton Thorsby would leave that position there yeah. where you'd want him to play. Everywhere else you were happy with, but you want Morton Thorsby in there instead of Ferdy. That's and what I, I can see why. That's why I bought him. This guy here I bought for as a squad player, so he, if anybody else gets injured, he's in. Yeah, yeah. But Morton Thorsby is is kind of the better ball winning midfielder yeah. because of those attributes in mental and physical so yeah I completely understand I mean that. my forward line talked for itself I mean I, I, Turan's not, very good not, not much I've got to do I mean Martinez yeah, I mean he's just good I, yeah you're I wearing mean, his shirt today yeah definitely yeah I mean 26 easier he's in for me that's yeah. I'm not even thinking about selling him he's no. in unless you don't have a choice <laughs> because we know and you change your mind quite often I do yeah I do yeah <laughs> so we'll see he's, as soon he, as he I'm, sees I'm Jude Bellingham up for a certain amount of money you know you'll go how much can I get for Martinez yeah alright let's take a look at Dad's schedule and the games he's played so far we've only played one league game that was a 5-0 win for Sassuolo Latara Martinez got a hat trick Corrier and Satriano come off the bench and got himself a goal. Good start. Uh, your Champions League group looks like this. You've got Liverpool, Benfica, Ludogorets. Well, I'd be disappointed if I don't go through. Yep, I would be too if I were you. Let's have a look at the one game that I played. I drew. Ooh. But it was against Lazio away. So I'm like, oh, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that one. I don't mind dropping points there. My Champions League group looks like this. Sevilla, Porto, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Three teams very similar to each other in, yeah. in regards to the quality of their sides. Maybe Porto is a little bit better. Uh, but again, I'd expect to get myself through that one. So our first season underway in this Milan derby. Come on. Best of luck. Let's see how this first season gets on.
First Ooh. season in Inter Milan are the winners. I finished in third, and I was fourth on the last game of the season. Salernitana might have been second, uh, might have been third there for a while. Mate, have you seen my goal difference as well? 61. You only conceded and I 28. Very defensive. Yeah, there's only one team that conceded less, but you scored 89 goals this league, yeah. so you uh, you scored the most. Five I, more than I, what I I'm did. disappointed with is I still lost seven games. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you lose against? No AC Milan. Who did I lose against? Inter Milan. Yes. All right, straight away then. That's four points for you. Yeah. We are on AC Milan right now. So when we take a look at competitions, it will be AC Milan. Olivier Giroud at the ripe old age of 36 Ooh, scored 36 goals. He might even be 37 now. He is 37 and he got 36 goals. I love that. Had the highest average rating and the most man matches, but I don't get any points for that. Napoli, of course, who were champions going into this season, finished down in ninth. That's bad, isn't it? Really bad. What happened 57 there? 57 points. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I thought they would be there or thereabouts again. I did. I Exactly the same. I thought it would be the three teams, but no, Atalanta replaced yeah. them. They got 77 points. Of course, a very good side again. Okay, so we're on AC Milan. I need a cup win or something. Come on. Oh, come on! Champions League and the Coppa Italia. Just when you think Luke has lost his touch, he's pulled it back in with a Champions League win. Yes. Let's go. How Manchester the hell have you United done that? in the final. 5 1 in the final. 5 1 against the best bloody team on the planet. Uh, Rafael Leao got man of the match as well. He got three assists. Class. He didn't even get a goal in it. At Wembley. Oh, love that. Uh, in the Coppa Italia, did I beat you in the final? No, Atalanta in the final. However, where did you get knocked out then, Dad? Let's find out. So the third round where we entered, you beat Torino. Quarter final, you then beat Roma on penalties after it being so five. So got the semi final. Semi final, which of course is two legs. We didn't play each other. Ooh. It was Atalanta who knocked you out. I just casually knocked Lazio out eight one, <laughs> six nil in the second. So match. even though I won the league, yeah, you still. I am me. ahead of you right now. Was that a Champions League and a cup? Yeah. Where did you finish the Champions League? I could have knocked you out of the Champions League. That could be an extra two oh, points. Don't do that to me. Surely that could don't be do an that extra two points. Did you even go through? I went through second in my group. I didn't even go through top, and I still went on and won the bloody thing. Oh, I went you lost. Second. Yeah, you lost second there to Liverpool. You had the same points. Yeah, uh, both teams didn't lose. Not bad at all. So we uh, we went into the round of 16. You then beat Borussia Dortmund. I beat Monaco. That's quite good, to be fair. <gasps> Yes! You knocked me out of the Champions League. Then you More won points. Win More points. So, uh, that looks like... Oh, you won one game. You got a point there. No? You did get a point. Oh, that's all right. So, we both so got I'll a point each. I'll beat you in the first leg. Yeah. And then no. you, oh, you beat me in the second I'll leg. I'll beat you uh, on aggregate. Yeah, aggregate. No, I'll beat yeah. you in the first Three, leg. One. Yeah, I mean, you got a point. But I still knocked you out of the competition. Well, let's have a look at the goals then. Then we'll tally at the points and see how we're getting on. We are currently on a... So we know where Dad finished, by the way. We can just have a look here. Quarter final so I was top of the league most of the season then. Yeah, semi-final by yeah. Atalanta. But you were top of the league for the majority of the season. If we do take a look at past positions, there's a couple of things that I'm curious. I was top for a little bit. Yeah, I rescued it right at the end there. Yeah. I was standing fifth. Salernitana. That is mental. They were second for ages. Yeah. I've never seen them perform that well. <laughs> Normally they are relegation they fodder. They just lost it at the end of the season, didn't they? Badly. Yeah. Atalanta were quite good. Roma were always... Oh, Roma had a bit of a climb. Yeah. They had a bit of a climb towards the end of the season. But yeah, Napoli, nowhere just near. They off, had a they? terrible time. Yeah. Uh, and Juve was up there too. Okay, so that's not bad. We are on Daz into Milan. 41 goals for Taro Martinez. 37 for Marcus Turan. I'm well pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, you're still losing in points. But yeah... <laughs> I can't believe that. And uh, Martinez is what a wanted. start and I'm losing. By Real Madrid, so expect to see Dad sell him and find a new striker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DeMarco got 12 assists, so did Barella, so did Lautaro Martinez on 11-11. That's a like, that's good amount for assists. Yeah. That's spread out. You're not relying on one guy to be no. fit. And then the AC Milan, let's take a look. Uh, whoa, 47 goals for Olivier Giroud, 17 for Rafael Leal. I like that a lot. 17 assists for Christian Pulisic. I've got £91 million pounds to play around with. Now, both clubs are in debt. We checked this before. Like We've got quite a lot of debt there, so... Um, it's nice to see that we're still being backed, I guess. Yeah. You've got 115 million. You got more. Not bad. The problem is, no, you know what I'm like? I like to spend money. <laughs> you do like to spend it, and you have higher debts as well. You're the league got, winners right now. I've got an idea where I want to spend my money. Probably a new strike when he sells it, and he, he's got a thing. <laughs> okay, let's tally up the points for this first season, then, including all of the wins against each other, including the cup competitions that have been won. We have Omega Dad on five points. Omega Luke on nine points. Great start. Just when you think Dad is going to go off into the league. Wins the league. 
and I'm still four points behind. Still four points behind. Believe that. I couldn't even finish in the top two. <laughs> Mate, I've, no, I, would, I, I will say this though: what a result to win the Champions League first season, yeah, yeah. ain't bad at all. Is Absolutely it? brilliant. Take yeah. it after you, brilliant. Yeah, I'm not going to say. I, I deserve to be behind if you win the Champions League, so yeah. I am where I should be. Okay. By the way, we haven't actually mentioned the points tally yet and how that works out. So I'll do that right now. It is one point if you play each other and you beat each other. It is one point if you finish higher in the league. But that doesn't count if somebody wins the league, which Dad has done. That is three points in total. If you want, if you win the domestic cup, that is just two points. But of course, if you play each other in the cups, it's another point that you can yeah. win there, which we have done. Yeah. The European competitions is four points for Europa League and Europa Conference League, which we've seen play into big effect in the Celtic versus Rangers one, because yeah. obviously if they get to Europa League final, that's a lot bigger than what a club like Inter or AC would but a Champions League win the creme de la creme that's six points and that's the reason why I'm currently on nine points well done good start very yeah. competitive start how do I beat that absolutely let's take a look at season number two right let's start off with dad's transfers because he spent 109 million pound now you sold Jan Sommer which was your number one keeper last yeah. year for uh, less than a million uh, well I just thought the, the reserve keeper that I got in I thought he was the, he was really good uh, Chelsea come in for him and I thought I've got a better keeper. I'll go for that and just All get right. a reserve keeper in. And as you can see, I've got a reserve keeper in who was free of charge. So Yeah, you, you let quite game, a lot really. of older players go. So I yeah, think that I was the thing you noticed from your Inter Milan side. Like, Quadrado left for just £2 million. Yeah. Uh, I think he's 36 now. Still a good player, but, you know, that would have been the last game. You know, the last time you can play him. Corey is gone. You've got De Vrij, who's gone loan fee, which is a, a thing to buy. Yeah. But you had £109 million to spend, and you've done that. So my thinking really was I, I wanted a strength in my defence. Yeah, so you've got Bergstrom in as a backup keeper, goalkeeper yeah. now. To I mean, you look at that, that's still good. Season. Then you've got Robin Lenormand, yeah. which is a 27-year-old French, uh, French defender, £55 million. Good centre-back, to be fair. Caleb Acoli, you went for Atalanta's young centre-back in Never Caleb Acoli. Yeah. Bit of a powerhouse, to be fair. I like Young it. as well. Yeah. Mancini from Roma. This was Heck one that you Roma, had on yeah. your list, yeah. wasn't it? That 19 aggression really stood out. I mean, I just had to get it. I, it was on my list. When I said I could get him, I had the money to get him. Bang, I'm ready to get him. Then it got very interesting. Yeah. Gabby well, Gold. I was just thinking, I want someone up there who's going to be the second striker, and he's got to be good. Yeah. And this guy fits all that. Dribbling, finishing, first touch. He's, he's there. Aggression acceleration you know he's quick so it's all there for us really so i thought yep i'm gonna go for him second spell at inter milan six million six million pound I mean, that's in a bargain. that was a bargain i thought frank kessie i think this is an even bigger bargain yeah former ac milan player yeah frank kessie uh, just strengthen my midfield up again yeah so just put another another player into those who's so strong Young, young, young lad as well. So great physicals, only yeah. nine million pound, unbelievable, yeah. really. Then you got Jakic, who is one of your squad players that you always <laughs> yeah. like to go to again. Yeah, going back to the old well. I mean, his mentals is all is all good. Yeah, you know. So I just thought, and his and his um, physicals is very good as well. So twenty twenty seven, I thought, yeah, good, another good squad player, and just gives a, a few, you know, niggly injuries or something like that. He's in there, any? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, I'll have a look at my transfers then. I'm very much similar, but we realise after that first season i lost ben Asser, 43 million pound to liverpool in the january transfer window they activated a release clause for 43 million pound which i didn't know was in there i would have tried to keep him if i knew that i also sold salamakas as well for 19 million pound there's a lot of other players that i let go for different prices uh, which allowed me to spend roughly about 85 million pound so i brought in eric garcia 22 million i think that was a bit of a bargain to be fair that was uh, a good price he was on the transfer list baldanzi for 21 million but i've loaned him back to M this guy's one for the future for me. He's 21 years of age. Uh, great potential on the game. I like the fact that he's Italian because I don't think I have a lot of Italians in my club right now. And I no. think I need to keep that yeah. going. Uh, being that, you know, AC Milan's history with Italian players. Then I went for Benjamin Sesco as my backup striker for when Giroud finally retires. I still think this season I'm going to go with Giroud. And I think I haven't like nailed it in, no. but Giroud is probably the better player at the minute. Yeah, but Benjamin be Sesco yeah. for 20. 20 21. 21. He looks great already, yeah. but that potential's nasty and only £42 million. He didn't play at all last year at Leipzig, so he's already stunting his growth. He's already played one game and scored one for you as well. He has indeed. And that was off the bench too. Yeah. So not bad at all. £42 million might be a bit of a stretch. However, I think as a first team goal scorer from next year when probably Jury retires, 
probably the way to go. So my tactics, I'm keeping exactly the same. I just want the Champions League of it. I don't need to change it, um, which is going to come back to bite down in the ass. Olivier Giroud is, again, my best striker, as I mentioned. So if I did pick best 11, he would be up there as my striker. And it looks very similar to what it was last season. But Vega is actually out on loan again. I just keep loaning him out because I don't think he is my best defend uh, defensive midfielder there. But I've got the likes of Marino, Loftus-Cheek, some other players that I can fit in there perfectly. So, on to Dad's 11. And you may go, Dad, you just won the league. Don't do what you did last time. Just don't do it. Just don't change your tactic. You didn't. You didn't change your tactic. You stuck with it. <laughs> You're listening to the audience and that makes a big change, Dad. Yeah. Well done. So, uh, pick that restriction, everybody. Everybody went to the guy. Oh, no. He has one, is he? <laughs> Best 11 looks like this, Dad. Very similar to what it was last season, but the players that you signed, you've brought in, yeah. they've gone into your lineup. Now, obviously, De Vrij is no longer at the club, so you would have to obviously put in probably Le Lenormand, somebody like that, or Caleb Bacoli can go in there. But the rest of the players are all at the club. They're all really good, too. Yeah. So the only thing I was quite surprised with was Barbosa not in front of Turan. Yeah, I was, I was, and we were in and I went, and I said, should I lock him in? Should I lock him in? And I just thought, well, no, because I... If I lock a player in, it always bites me in the ass. So, so we didn't do it. So your schedule-wise, we have play, we have played two games this time before the transfer window closed. Uh, it was a one-one draw against Torino for yourself with a 83rd El Sharawi girl, who, by the way, is a former AC Milan player. <laughs> you just uh, knew that, didn't you? Criminence three <laughs> 0 I didn't have a clue with that. I'm thinking, why is he going on that player? I know. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge <laughs> knowledge is king uh, you also got to play Champions League games one of them there is Manchester United in your first game it goes into the new format now you also got to play Man City and Arsenal uh, I still want to go through on that there. I yeah, still want to go through on that yeah um, onto my fixtures then I've played two games I won 4-1 against Lazio then 7-3 against Juventus that's an hammering isn't it huge Christian Pulisic has been good for me as well. He got a hat-trick in that game there, which I did not expect. Yeah, as I say, I'm keeping the same tactic. I don't know where Christian Pulisic played because apparently he's not in the best 11. <laughs> but still, there we go. Schedule-wise, I'm looking quite good. Now, my Champions League fixtures looked like this. I've got Barcelona, Liverpool, Atletico. Other than that, I mean, Dortmund maybe. Other than that, I should be winning well, all Well, our class is Dortmund on the same level as, as us. Yes, I say. yeah, yeah. So, I would... I would be disappointed if I was you, you didn't go through there. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. I think I should be going through that as well. So, going into this, obviously, I am, what, three points? Five points ahead? Five points ahead yeah. right now. So, it's going to be quite tricky for you to manage to pull that one back in one season. Four points ahead it is. It's nine to five. How can you do it in that second season? You need a cup win, I think, well, as well. I need to do the double. Let's yeah. forget the Champions League. I think the Champions League is is the one, one, off, one off things in it. We're concentrating on the league. I think I've got to do the double. And all those mini battles against each yeah. other, they all add up. You know, if I do the double, that's that's um, five points. That's yeah. five points that you can't win. That puts me right back in the game again. Then yeah, so knocking each other out of the cup, especially if it's in the semi-final, yeah. is huge because yeah. it's that double legged yeah. tie. If you win both of those and then you go on and win the cup, that's a four point yeah. swing right that's there. That's a big one, isn't it? So there we go. All the tactics of these versus rebuilds. I absolutely love it. I hope you Come do on. too. Second season, let's simulate and find out what happens. Second season is in and AC Milan are the top of the Serie A winning the Scudetto. 90 oh, points, you just 11 me. points. You just totally clear. hammered me. You only lost four games. Well done. Yeah. Uh, one, I lost one at the end of the season there as well. Four losses. One of them was against Dad. That's even worse. So that's one. It was a 3-0 hammering as yeah. well. Uh, you lost nine games, Dad. Jesus. One, one of against them you. was against me. So yeah. it's one for one. Yeah. Crossing each other out pretty much. But that's three points for the league win. Uh, Olivier Giroud, 28 goals again. The same as Otaro Martinez. Martinez had the highest average rating. Dumfries, there was 16 assists. My goal very difference good. this time was awful. A lot lower. I had the highest uh, clean sheets per game ratio of Rui Patricio there. David, sorry, only one less though. Yeah. In clean sheet, so he still did quite well yeah. to be fair. But it's all down to the cup competition. So I'll have a look at the dad because he is behind right now. Have you won a cup or a Champions League? No, runners up at the cup. If it's me, that is hilarious. Uh, quarter final of the Champions League by Manchester United. Before you United. go that, just look at the chart with the league. Yeah, you were second the whole way. Oh, so I was chasing you the you whole... You were chasing me the I whole mean, time. I mean, that point system, I was never going to catch him, was I? No, so. no. I was probably way ahead because obviously nine points lost. And then it yeah. looks like Napoli were just 
really far behind you. Like, yeah, they, so that's why I drew eight games I could have lost night. two games and Napoli still wouldn't have caught me, would no, they? So yeah, that's it. That's why I stayed in second. Anyway. But did oh, you no. lose to me in the Coppa Italia no, final? No. If not, that's a massive chance wasted as well, if you yeah. think about it. It's kind of like a double whammy. No. <gasps> Juventus after extra, extra time. time. Again, that is a huge chance lost there. In extra time. And Martin Satriano, I think, put you ahead. Yeah. And then... Andre Silva, 120th plus one. You lost that. Seconds away from a penalty shootout. <sighs> Tough. It's two points that just dropped there, yeah. really. Right, okay. So you got one point there. I've got one point plus the three for winning the league. However, what else happened? Competitions. Round of 16 for me. Semi-final by Juventus. He didn't knock me out of the cup. Right. Round of 16 by Bayern Munich. So, no. Nothing. We didn't play each other other than those two league games which cancel each other out yeah pretty much uh the league phase looks like this i play i finish in eighth place you finish in 15th which meant you went into the knockout playoff you beat salzburg in that the round of 16 where i got eliminated you also no what was that no you went through against yeah. monaco i got eliminated by Bayern munich uh, that's that's tough isn't it you had monaco we finished in the top eight <laughs> yeah. i had Bayern munich who didn't that's ridiculous who had harry kane of course uh the quarter final uh, was obviously when you were eliminated by, by Manchester United who Bayern Munich went on and won it against PSG in the final. Okay, let's tally up the points. Now, although we don't count the Super Cup as a competition win, it was Dad's decision, not mine, I said not to, to count it as a point well, I think, for whoever wins it if we face each other. To be honest with you, it's, it's all about me and the you rivalry. playing against each other, the rivalry, isn't it? So yeah. it, I think the result still stands. Okay. You, we've played against each other, you've beat me. We're not going to count the Cup as a two points but we're going to count the game, and I yeah. think that's fair enough. Okay, I'm fair enough. That. Uh, so that's another point for myself, yeah. which takes my tally this season up to five. Dad's tally up to one for this season, which means the total points looks like this. How oh, come on, you wins the league? I, I, I does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, total points looks like this. Omega Dad is on six points in total, and after season number two, Omega Luke is on 14 points going into season number three. It's a big gap. So, our transfer budget, £92 million for myself. That's quite a lot. Uh, Dad, you have £132 million. Woo! That's a lot of money for Dad to be spending. But remember, guys, it just makes it harder for me, though. That's a problem. Page.com forward slash Omega Loot Gaming is where you can get the save game file at the end of this five year rebuild. You can come on and take our game over and have a, have a go at it. Let us know. Exactly. You can see if you can yeah. beat us. Maybe you just want to have a peruse. Maybe you want to have a look at the yeah. tactic, etc. Uh, then you can do that. Five I'll, pound tier. I've got so Gaming. many tactics on mine. <laughs> Page.com forward slash stop cutting me off when I'm trying to promote the Patreon. <laughs> this is paying for your wages. Page.com forward slash Omega Loot Gaming. The link is at the top of the description should you wish to use it. Thank you. Fresh ball fall is upon us. And guys, it's time to clear those leaves from your tree for those cozy nights in. Because the last thing that she wants to see when she's getting a little bit frisky is to pull your pants down and your pant puppy looking all overgrown and smelly. And that is where Manscaped come in. Because they will become your best friend in your time of need. As will I, and I will join the wolf pack when you use my code Omega at checkout at manscaped.com for that 20% off free shipping and the performance package has got your back with the lawnmower 4.0 which will leave you with no nicks or cuts to make raking the leaves a lot less painful this masterpiece is multifunctional it has a skin safe technology blade waterproof and it has a little led spotlight to trim in the dark but you still need your slammer hammer to smell good and the performance package has got that covered too with the crop preserver board deodorant and the crop reviver board toner with smooth aloe vera formula you also get a handy travel bag so some nifty boxes, a t-shirt too. And remember, of course, Manscaped now do beard trimming specific products too, and it's hands down the best beard trim I've ever used. With just one guard and a rotary wheel that covers any desired trimming length. Perfect, Manscaped are amazing, and you can look amazing and smell amazing too when you go to manscaped.com, you use my little code OMEGA at the checkout, and you get yourself 20% off and free shipping. So order now while you can. Dad, you sold Ferdy. Yeah. Uh, was it just because you were getting really annoyed when they kept putting him back in the <laughs> yeah, winning midfielder or It was really. Uh, <laughs> so he sold him. I don't want him playing there. Get him out. <laughs> 19 million. You also well, made 3.7 out of yeah. Satriano. De Vrij went for 1.1, bringing in another 23 million pound. And you spent 100 and 
Well, that, I mean, this, this is another reason why I was selling those players. I was trying to build up. I had an idea with me here what I wanted to do, and this is it. It was a couple of players I really wanted. This is the main one I wanted. I was I pleased to bits when I got yeah, him as well. Absolutely. You're I thought, boy. this is the guy that's going to just sew my defence up now. So at one point, our little rule is that once one of us have put an offer in for a player, the other one can't do that. If nobody has, he's fair game. Yeah. Dad said, I think I could go for Antonio Silva at one point, and then he didn't put a bid in. <laughs> and I thought, I really need a centre-back. So I put a bid in for Antonio Silva, and he was like, oh, you're joking. But I didn't end up going for him in the end. I yeah. ended up withdrawing the transfer bid, and Dad snapped him up as soon as I didn't do yeah. that. £43 million pounds is a good deal, to be fair. Uh, so you could have to see who I, I think I that's when I started bought. selling everybody, isn't it? Just trying yeah. to get the money. Quick, get them all out. Get them all out of the club. I don't care who goes. Sell so, so 30. Then you also brought in Alex Grimaldo for £40 million. Pound. Yeah, I mean, this is a class left-sided player. I've got a really good one as it is, but I wanted Tomarco. a second one as a reserve one. Yeah. I'm now building, rather than just having squad players, I'm building a really good team. Yeah. So I got him in. Then you upgraded Hence why your goalkeeper. I went for this guy as well. Eli loves an Arsenal player, I'm yeah. telling you that. You this don't see him ever buying anybody from Spurs, this is a do problem. you? <laughs> but I was after, a, I just wanted a really outstanding keeper this time. Yeah. This is who I think should be the England number one as well. According to this, he has been. 38 caps for yeah. England. £46 million pound is what you spent, which is quite a good deal, to be fair. You got 15 clean sheets last season. Nabil Fakir. And yeah. you're going to see why Dad has bought a centre attacking midfielder in a second. <laughs> a very good one. 32 years of age for £12 million. Pound. Yes. Not a bad player. Uh, let's take a look at my transfers then. Because I sold £52 million pounds worth of players, 16. I actually sold two players to uh, the same club Cristiano Ronaldo sat in Saudi Arabia. So they just threw money at me. Okafor was also a player. I, I sold Luca Romero, Gabia. Players I didn't necessarily need because I knew I could upgrade them. Suguara comes in as a free transfer for that right back position. Not bad for a freebie. Uh, I also got a freebie for the left hand side as well. Didn't necessarily need it. I've got uh, Teo Hernandez there, but I bought in Trafer as well. Then I actually started spending a little bit of money and what I did spend I thought I spent quite well. I needed a backup striker because now Olivier Giroud has retired and I've got Benjamin Sesco but nobody else other than Rafael Leal but he's left sided so I went for Chiro Mobile. What a player that yeah. is. 35 years of age, 4.7 million pound and he had already scored two goals. Guess who they're against? Me. <laughs> so he scored against me. I signed it. So there we go. Uh, Matteo Piscina, £5 million. Not a bad signing. Again, he's Italian, so I'm signing quite a lot of Italians. I think that's a bargain, to be fair. I think they got relegated last year. That's why he was so cheap. Nic Nicolo Casale is a, an Italian centre-back. That's the centre-back I went for when I decided to not go for uh, Antonio Silva because I had my eyes on other options. £12.5 million. I went for Martin Batterina, centre-attacking midfielder, centre-midfielder. Very good player, especially for only 22 years of age gets a number seven shirt for just 14 million that's an absolute steal yeah Ekelen camp again he's kind of the same type of player really 25 he costs a little bit more 19 million pound but he's better than what i had in center mid then i needed a ball winning midfielder and i went for one of the best in the business in kakaret 25 years of age he's french really good at that his mental attributes are phenomenal yeah fantastic player uh so tactically i've changed to this so i've moved basically one player from there to there uh, that's because now I don't really have a very good right winger, but I do have two very good centre attacking midfielders. Uh, and also Chiro Mobley can also play there too. So very similar to what I was running already. Dad, however, has changed things. He's gone for this. So he's moved a player from there up into there and moved these from two Mazales to a ball winner and a box to box midfielder. Yeah. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Reason being, I didn't do too well last season and I thought I'm going to play a little bit more attacking. Yeah. I didn't score a lot of goals last season. I'm going to put that player in that position and hopefully I've reinforced my midfield and my defence hopefully they'll look after themselves yep you got Chananoglu and Nabil Fakir you can yeah. both play there best 11 puts Fakir in there that's kind of how you liked it yeah right? definitely yeah uh, hard to argue with that really yeah okay now my tactic if I did do best 11 would look like this so as I kind of would hope it to be other than Di Ketelare, but he is actually out injured for a very long time broke his foot so seven weeks he's probably out but he hasn't played at the start of the season either interesting Interestingly, it does put a Mobile in there, uh, but I probably suspect that um, Sesco will probably play a lot more games than what he did last year because he's got better and better as well, so he might start featuring a little bit more. But other than that, yeah, I'm really happy, to be fair. My schedule, we've played a lot of games, but only two in the league, and as you can see, Churro Mobile did score two against me, and it cost me the 
good game. 87th from the 90th minute, and that's when I snapped him up and signed him. Uh, then I signed, uh, once I did, did sign him, I then beat Genoa 3-1 away from home. So I've dropped points already, Dad, as champions. I'll tell you what I have noticed, though, which I, I just don't... I can't believe friendlies at the beginning of the season. You nearly always play Juventus and Napoli. Yeah, it's what? really annoying. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like Man United playing right Liverpool before. in a friendly, isn't it? Yeah, it's really bizarre. It just wouldn't happen. So yeah, I, I don't know why. Let's have a look at your games though and some of your friendlies. Uh, you do play Roma, yeah. Katona. You play a lot less than what I did. Uh, you beat Roma though after only playing them a few days before, a couple of weeks before that. Five one. Is it working? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, at the Olympico as well. Then you beat Sampdoria 3-1 at home. Lautaro Martinez is on fire right now for you five goals already in two games. That's what and I wanted. And we play each other next. Oh. Interesting. You're on form. <laughs> I'm not quite on form, but we will be facing at the San Siro against each other. Interesting stuff. We haven't been given our Champions League fixtures yet, though, so we don't know who we're facing in that competition. But season number three... I've got to win it. Come You've on. You've got to win something. Let's find out. I'm scoring how more goals. So come on. Oh, yes. Third season. I looked at it and I was like, what team am I again? AC Milan. Champions. Four points, four this, points time this time round. Both lost seven. Two draws cost you. And one of them was against me there. We've drawn one game. I haven't lost. But I've beaten you 2-0. Come on, so that's one point plus the three for winning the league. That's four points, zero for Dad so far. We're on AC Milan as we speak. Lataro Martins, top scorer, 35. Well, I'm, bad, I'm glad to see that. So I've, what I've changed has worked. Yeah, you scored way more goals. Yeah. Um, not goal difference is still not good though, though, is it? No, 68 for me, 46 for you, 22 in, in that swing there. Chiro Mobley got 27 goals. And Sesco got 24. They're both playing. They're both scoring loads. Yeah. Quadrado, the player you sold, got 14 assists at the age of 38. <laughs> that's, that's mental, isn't it? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, so there we go. Aaron Ramsdale, though, did get the highest clean sheets alongside Wojciech Szczesny. Uh, and Borrello also so that, got the highest that side of it cards. worked as well. So yeah. Just not getting the, that in the right game, no. I guess. We're on AC Milan. How did I do in the other cup, cup competitions? Come on, winner of the Coppa Italia. Let's go. Oh, who did I face in the final, though? Bologna. Okay, maybe I knocked you out on the way there. Third round, Inter Milan, you beat Udinese. Uh, quarter final, you beat Atalanta. No, I beat Atalanta, you beat Fiorentina. So the semi final, no, you lost to Bologna. Oh, huge opportunity for a Coppa Italia final between the two Milan sides. I'm uh, pleased in one way. <laughs> yeah, that would have been another point because you yeah. avoided me. But then you could have beaten me in yeah, that Yeah, that's final. right, yeah. So you could have stopped me from doing it and had a three-point swing there. But no, so that's another two points for me there, Dad. But once again, you win the cup and the league and I'll do nothing. So I've got six points right now. The well, only way that no. you've matched me is if you the win the Champions League. Oh, hang on then. If you've won the Champions League, I was League, playing then better. Six all. I was playing better. Come on. You did not do that. Quarterfinals oh, by, by Arsenal. Not Arsenal. Arsenal of all clubs. And you just bought their keeper. Yeah. Who are they playing in goal? That's quite curious, isn't it? Who are they? Uh, never even heard of him. No way is he their best goalkeeper. <laughs> he is. He's played 43 games. 44 games. I've never even heard of him. No. And he, yeah, he knocked you out of the Champions League. Don't even look that good, though, does he? No, he I wouldn't even buy him. No. You <laughs> I'd make, buy anybody. You make terrible decisions <laughs> with your goalkeeper <laughs> signings. And no, that is crazy. Fair enough. All right, okay. That's I was knocked news. out. That's bad news. by Bayern Munich. You were knocked out by Arsenal. No luck in the Champions League this season. I don't season. think I got any points, did I, though? No, zero points. I got six, which means our total points now is Omega Dad on six. Omega Luke, 20. There's a 14-point gap in just three seasons. I've got to win the Champions League you've for the to, next two seasons. You've got to beat me in some stuff as well. You've got to start knocking me out. Yeah, but the Champions League is six points, isn't it? So yeah. I've got to win them and then try and win the league with it. Yeah, but if you knock me out of Oh, one, yeah, but I know that. But yeah, you, yeah. I've still got to win the big ones, don't I? Yeah, to get yeah. the bigger points. Because at the minute, I've got free reign on the cup, mate. I've, I've, that's oh. two out of three, three years I've been winning the cup. I'm nowhere near that cup, cup am I? Inter Milan, your goals. 52 goals in 51 games for Martinez. Thank you very much. Huge. 21 so my, for Barbosa. My little changer worked. Yeah, Marcus Turam got 18. It looks like they did favour Barbosa yeah. in, across the season. Well, that's which right. is kind of what you wanted. I wanted, yeah, but I didn't want to lock him in, though, did I? Yeah. 
So that's quite good. Uh, and assist wise, 13 from DeMarco and Barbosa also got 13. I like that, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, transfer budget wise, 115 again. They just keep lobbing money at you, Dan. It's mental. <laughs> no wonder why they're in debt. Uh, the, 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 the debt it is coming down. It makes it so hard for me, though. <laughs> it feels like I've got to spend it. <laughs> 201 million pounds still in debt. Uh, okay, let's have a look at my games and goals. 45 goals from Benjamin Sasko. That's huge. 10 appearances off the bench as well. 35 for Chura Mobley, despite his age being 36. 19 for Rafael Leal with 15 assists. 20 assists from Batarina with 14 goals. That's huge for a player that was just 22 when I bought him. Okay, great signing that was. Dan will be writing that one down. To be fair, you've already written that one down. I think you signed him before. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. Let's have a look at how much I've got. Oh, what? 64 million, I think. I just won the league two seasons in a row and the cup. And a domestic <laughs> double. That is crazy. Right, okay. Fourth season. Who do we bring in? Well, we know that Arsenal really needed a goalkeeper, so I, <laughs> I gave them mine. <laughs> I can't believe that. We were just saying rubbish he was. I know. Mike Mannion, who I thought I'd keep throughout the whole of this, uh, they came in with a very late bid of £57 million. That's just ridiculous money, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of money for the goalkeeper. Yeah. And the only reason why I accepted it was because I'd already seen in my scout report somebody who I could pick up for a lot less. So I did that. I sold Mike Mannion for £57 million. I also sold Chuck Woozy. 22 million pound uh, Truffitt who I got on a free for 9 million Di Catalare I was very disappointed with obviously he broke his foot he never really recovered from that he went to PSG he doesn't look that good anymore which is a bit annoyed they didn't even count him in the uh, UEFA Champions League squad so he's already fuming over there but I did make 150 million pounds worth of signings and the goalkeeper I replaced him with was 31 million pound yeah. Diogo Costa, I think we, that's a good move. We do like him, don't we? I, I always go and have a look to see how much he's worth and any of the times that I'm doing this game. Too. Yeah. After selling Mike Mannion, I looked at this and I thought, I've made the right decision here, I believe, because yeah. very similar goalkeepers, but according to attributes, I prefer Diogo Costa. I think eccentricity is 13 for, for Mike. That's quite high for for that type of that attribute and agility, etc. They're all very similar, but yeah, Diogo Costa, a little bit younger, cheaper. I think it was worth it. Yeah. Uh, I also brought in Leon Bailey for 69 million. Yeah, I was interested when I seen you that mm. sign this guy. Is Not a bad player. No, no. Uh, 29 years old, 69 million. He had a good season last year because that high average rating, 7.57, 7.4 in the Premier League. It's very hard to do. Yeah. Uh, so he comes in, can play on the wings. And I also brought in Ilya Zabanyi, a very good centre back. 24 years of age, Ukrainian, 50 million pounds. That's a good signing, I believe. Let's take a look at Dad's transfers, though. This one, James War Prowse, free transfer. I've just seen this, I can come up and I thought, right, I'm going to strengthen my midfield. And this guy does everything I want my midfielder to do. He takes the corners, he takes set pieces and all that. And he is lethal at it. Yeah. By far the best in the business at it. So he just fits into the role that I wanted, really. So yeah. This guy, then sold, you got Bruno. this guy just sold my defence up then, didn't he? And yeah. my midfield up then. And, so, and when I could afford him, I thought, uh, it's a no-brainer. I've got to get him in. Free transfer again from Newcastle. Got a goal already in his first appearance. I mean, for a free transfer, he's phenomenal. Oh, in his I, prime, I just couldn't 28. Believe it. When, I mean, when we seen it, I said, I'm, I'm having him. I don't care yeah. where you go. And it was like, he's free. I'm definitely having him then. Yeah. <laughs> so you got those two players. Then to play in front of your midfield, because yeah. now you've got a position in there. Fakir was like, he dropped off a cliff attribute-wise. Yeah. He? Because his physicals aren't that great. So you brought in Christopher Nkunku, who was on the transfer list at Chelsea. And Very good. And, and, and I know I keep saying it, but he is a squad player as well. Look, yeah. I mean, he plays in all the positions there so I do to have there yeah. yeah 48 million pound got two goals and an assist and just two appearances Straight away, has not been playing for Chelsea at all no. which is a shame he's very good Alan Rodriguez now there's a story about this one you couldn't register him because of that non-EU rule yeah uh, which isn't too bad because you only spent 4.9 million pound he's a very good player though hopefully next I was, season I was having him in for a squad player as well at that price I thought I can't afford to turn that yeah. down so that just in case you are wondering to tally up it's the 19th squad player that dad has purchased <laughs> so far in this video <laughs> What a squad I there's got. Only 11 <laughs> there's only 11 positions on the pitch. Uh, then finally, your final sign in is a squad. No, it's not a squad. <laughs> Enrique Araujo. Um, and I, I'm thinking, I forgot Ward Price in the team. He's going to be putting the balls in. I want someone who's good in the air. So I started looking for a player that was still a good striker, good finisher, and good at header in the ball as well. This guy fitted it all. Yeah. 15 for Hedden. Yeah. A couple of times when we were searching, Romelu Lukaku came up and he was like, no, can't get in. Nope. <laughs> 
Uh, not I'm, just, into I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking of the Milan. If there's any Milan fans watching this, if I signed Lukaku, I think you would crucify me. Yeah, so yeah. There absolutely. was no way he was coming back in my team. No. Twenty million pound for Enrique Araujo. I think you made a good decision there. So that's not bad at all. Tactically, then you went for this. Yeah, I just changed, changed it a little it. bit. I, I kept the forward line as it was, and I've kept the back line as it was. I've just sort of like dropped the midfield. Yeah, just sort of. I just wanted to sew it up a little bit. So it was a little bit tighter in there. Then go on the break. Yeah. Dad has also fallen in love with the instructions of a Segundo Volante. After yeah. I described it and he was like, I want that one. Yeah, that's good, uh, mate. Especially when you've got the likes of Barella who can play there exceptionally well. Yeah. And Bruno Guimarães I think I've just well. bought the right players for that, that sort of formation, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if we take a look at pick without restriction the best 11 it looks like this so yeah. actually Kessie goes in now yeah I was surprised with that so yeah but uh, Nkunku Bruno Gumarais very good time very good I mean look now. at my defence as well it's awesome isn't it it is good it is very good Akoli's Akoli is uh, has developed quite well like, yeah. those physicals are insane nothing underneath 15 but Stoney obviously we know how good he is uh, and then of course your boy Antonio Silva yeah. I do like who, him. Um, I think if you could adopt him instead of me, you probably would. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very good player. Okay, let's have a look at my tactic then. How am I getting on? I've currently changed it to this. Now, the Leon Bailey transfer meant that I wanted to change and try something different, but I still had a very good centre attack in midfield, so I've gone for this asymmetric tactic. Still got my focal point with a, with a uh, complete forward now, which is going to be Benjamin Sesco. Again, great season last year, very good. With Rafael Leal, who's always going to be playing in that position absolutely every single game. He's my best player, my focal point, number seven. Uh, very good lineup. Looks like this, though. If I did best 11, we've got Batarina in behind Sesco, Leal, Marino, Kakoret, and Bailey comes in on that left, on that right hand side to cut in on his left. Good. My schedule I beat Atalanta 3 0, and I beat. Cagliari, 1-0. Got our Champions League fixtures this time round. Let's take a look at them. I am facing Olympiacos in my first game, but I've got Real Madrid and Barcelona. Oh, that's back to a bit back of bad luck, luck, isn't it? That is bad luck. Uh, Leipzig, Leverkusen, Manchester City, ending with a Newcastle game away. That is probably easy now. Ooh, less up, I've already I'll tell you what, mate, I'm really looking forward to watching Newcastle in Europe this year. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. to see the, them do well, to be yeah. fair. The Jollies, they deserve it, for Yeah, sure. definitely, yeah. They love After it, all mate. those years underneath uh, Mike Ashley, yeah. I think they deserve it. So, into Milan, you're your schedule looks like this. You had two games. You won both of them 3-0. Martinez for hat trick in the last one too. Conceded no goals. Yeah. That's what I like to say. Okay. Your fixtures in the Champions League. Manchester United. Again. Tricky game at Old Trafford to start things off. You've oh, also Newcastle. got Newcastle in Ooh. your home leg though. Yeah. Uh, PSG in the middle of it. I think you should go through with that though. I'm hoping to, it's, a, it's going to be a close one, I think, this will. I mean, Porto don't have a goalkeeper no. at this point. I don't know whether they ended up signing a goalkeeper because I stole their goalkeeper right near the end of the transfer window. Oh, yeah, they brought in Castiles. Yeah. So they they have a goalkeeper. And he's a good one as well. Yeah, he's not bad, to be fair. Yeah. So they do have a goalkeeper going into the Champions League. All right, season number four we're on now. Dad is slightly behind me. Why about, what, eight points? <laughs> so many different points. 14, was it? 14 points, yeah. something like that. Let's see if you can catch up in this season. I've got to win it. I've got to win it this time. Okay. Yes. Oh, Inter Two Milan. points. Get in. Two points. Where did that come from? I only lost two games. <laughs> lost two games and I still lost the league. I drew nine games. League never lose. League Awful. never lies, mate. League never lies. Okay. Best team won it. Let's have a look then. <laughs> two losses. No, Neither of me, them though. were into Milan, though. So I lost against four. You lost four. None of them was against me. So Whoa. we drew both that's, games. That's good for my point system. 2-2 two, two, and I won one. Well, really, you could have done with beating me for those extra points. Well, yeah, but I didn't lose against you. That's to catch me. Benjamin Sesco with the highest goals, 31. And Kunku got 18. No Lataro Martinez. No. That's surprising. James Watt Prasso, 17 assists. That's what you got him for. On a freebie. Yeah. In Italy, he still does it. He's still got a magic wand of a right foot. Okay, we're on AC Milan. Let's take a look at Dads. Let's have a look at Dads. And see what dad has done in the competitions you could ideally need a copper tally here and probably and knock me out of it yeah would have been the best scenario for you yeah Whoa, champions getting. league win get in wow actually the opposite because it's... you got knocked out the third round of the copper tally yeah that was <laughs> dreadful for you but you still that, won on and won the champions league that, automatic six points that's nine points in total yes bloody hell on Big penalties on penalties yeah 69th Whoa. minute Enrique Araujo got 65-69. Look wow. who scored for Real Madrid. Harry Kane. 
<laughs> Get in. Years old. He moved from Bayern Munich on a free. Wow. I bet. I bet you're gutted. You didn't see him on a free. Uh, he I'm, might have already done it before we got to the yeah, end of the season. This damn side of doing this. I should have looked back. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> uh, but you only had Bruno Gumaraish who missed a penalty. They had Harry Kane miss one. Yeah, get in. Oh, you couldn't write it. Absolutely couldn't write it. It was like, I got you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Harry Kane, Edo Militao, Grealish score for him as well to be fair so they've also got uh jackie boy over there in spain lovely yes. stuff right okay Spine champions points there at, least. at old trafford Ooh. oh i would have gone and watched it down yeah you. okay no cup win though i know that doesn't mean if i've I won hope, the cup i hope you haven't won it though i did win the cup and you didn't knock me out of the champions league because i was knocked out in a semi-final by, by Real Madrid. Madrid. So we didn't fit. Oh, we could have faced each other yeah, in the final. Yeah, what a final that would have been, eh? Oh, that is gutting. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I beat Juve in the in the final on penalties. Not bad at all. 9-8 on penalties as well. you didn't knock me out of the cup. Did I knock you out of the cup? I oh, know you were third round. You were third oh, yeah, round. Yeah. You got knocked yeah. out way before. Yeah. With all the minnows. I was like, I mean, I'll go on and win the Champions League and I'll get knocked out in the in third round of the cup. I spets here. Uh, okay, so the Champions League then. That was quite uh, a big one for you. How do we get there? So the league phase. Oh my god, you went through. Yeah, you went to the playoff bit. So I finished second there. I didn't lose a game in mine. Drew two. Yeah. I drew to Benfica and Real Madrid, who knocked me out eventually. And I won six. I beat Man City and Barcelona there. Uh, you won four. You beat Newcastle at home. Oh, so we both beat Newcastle. Then. Yeah, you stuff stuff Porto, didn't mean. Yeah. Didn't matter. They bought a new keeper. It didn't matter. Uh, drew two. Drew against Man United at Old Trafford. Then you went on and won the Champions League there. Then you lost two against PSG and Benfica. The Benfica one's disappointing, yeah. but it didn't matter because nope. that, that led you onto the right path because then you knocked them out of the knockout playoff round anyway. And then the round of 16, you then beat, I beat Sevilla 7-2. Absolutely smashed them 6-1 in the second leg. You knocked out Barcelona, Dad. Oh, get in. 2-0 two, two in the second leg. Quarterfinals, uh, I knocked out Man City. <sighs> You knocked out Juventus, Ooh. another Italian club, yeah. which led to the semi-finals where you knocked out Manchester United and stopped them from winning the Champions League at Old, at Trafford. Old Trafford. Yes. Wow. 5-4 <laughs> on aggregate as well. It was a close one. Ooh. I got smacked up by Real Madrid. That's bad. Right, that's an interesting season. So we both won the Champions League. Both won the Champions League going into this final year. And, and you've won two... For we're two for two for leagues? Yeah, I won the first season and this season, yeah, and you won, won the two and three. Wow, okay. Both won a Champions League, but the points, obviously, I think is a little bit different to that. Uh, Sesco, 50 goals, 23 goals for Bass Arena. It's not bad at all. No. That's very good. Uh, my transfer budget is £99 million. Pounds. They don't like giving you the under, do they? No. Uh, Dad, you got 24. That's a low tally. You won the Champions League. You got a low goal scoring tally there. 20 goals, a 21. A defence won it for yeah, me, didn't it? Yeah, defence is unbelievable. Yeah. Jason Price, 25 assists across the season. is absolutely crazy. Yeah. And you've been given £92 million as well. I won. I win the Champions League and then they don't give me as they much as they did. give you less. <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's the tally league. up the points. Omega Dad got season points of nine, which puts his tally up to 15 for season number four. Omega Luke only got two points, which puts his total tally up to 22 points. So it's 22 to 15 going into the final season, Dad. Only got, seven points in it. I've got to do the same as what I've just done. Yeah. Really? Which, I mean, to be fair, that that's very doable, seven points. You've I've just got, stopped me from winning the cup. You win the league again. Yeah. Already, you're almost I've there. I've got hell of a squad, so I could do it. And I've got 90 million to spend, and that's why I'm stuck in there because I don't know where to spend the 90 million. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm where do I Where do I improve this squad? Apart from spying more squad players. <laughs> 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 Which would not surprise me that you will do. <laughs> Expect to see the Kepa Aretha Balagas come in. <laughs> and then <laughs> Ivan Tony will pop up probably. Yeah, yeah. Ivan Tony. I've already got it. I'm thinking that already, yeah. tell you. All right. <laughs> Let's have a look. Season number five. Dad finally managed to sell Marcus Turam after three seasons of trying <laughs> yeah. uh, to sell He just didn't want to go, did he? He didn't want to go. Every no. time I accepted a deal, he, he refused it. Yeah. <laughs> Same as me and Ruben Loftus Cheek. Oh, I'm trying so to get rid funny, of him for about three seasons. <laughs> Finally. Was it? It started off at 50 and you even offered him at five, didn't you? 50 million pound he was valued at the first time I offered him out. <laughs> you should see what he leaves for now. Aslani was the other player, 8.5 million pound, and that allowed you to spend 125 million in total. You picked up a free transfer, 22 years I old. I went for this guy as a squad player, <laughs> <laughs> but mainly for the patrons. Yeah. This guy is a good player, yeah. and I thought, 22 years of age, he's a good squad player. With all that there, I'm thinking, get him in. 
patrons, you've got him. I'm not going to use him this season, but I, I just couldn't afford to let him go. He's one of us. <laughs> uh, you also put up a backup centre back. Right, a backup centre back. I was looking at my centre backs. They're they're leaf. I couldn't I couldn't bet them no. for the money that I had. So what I had to do is think. Well, they're getting to an age where they can pick injuries. This guy can drop in. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. So he could drop in if one of them got injured. Great mental attributes, that determination and leadership, That was my thinking is, as well. And he's 27, so good for the patrons again. So Absolutely. I'm thinking of the patrons this time. It's usually yeah. you, this time it's me. All right, okay. <laughs> and this one's actually uh, one to strengthen your first team. Yes. A bit weak on this side, on the right-hand side. Well, Dumfries is very good, but this guy's this was better. better. Yeah. And I, when I looked at my squad, Dumfries was my weak point. Yes. I felt. He yeah. was good, but he was my weak point. Yeah. And, and he said, was 31. Yeah. And I did say to you, and I said, he is the only position really I need to improve out of the whole team. Yeah. So I went out and I, I spent on this guy. And I, mate, he's 22 years of age. It's phenomenal. And look at it, look. Yeah. So once again, for the patrons, I'm just giving you one hell of a side that's just won the league and the Champions League. Yeah. He moved from Valladolid to Borussia Dortmund, £50 million. Dad picked him up for 73 for a release clause contract, but definitely worth the money. Yeah. Probably one of the best right-backs on the game right so now. So I think, I think my team now is better with him in it, stronger as a squad. I agree. Now, AC Milan, the bit of business that I've done. I sold Calabria because he was like my third choice right back now, I believe. £30 million. Ruben Loftus-Cheek finally got rid of him for £3.8 Unbelievable. You paid them £3.8 didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I would have. I would have. It got to that point. I, I signed three players, all three of them Italian, actually, funny yeah. enough. Salvatore Esposito. You used to have Sebastiano Esposito. This guy actually used to play for you as well. He came yeah. through your youth academy. Good player, to be fair. He moved to Real Madrid. Didn't play very many. Actually, he played 29 games. For some reason, he's on the transfer list. I got him for 45 million. I think it was worth it. Uh, he comes in very good centre midfielder. Exceptionally good at the things that I needed, I think, because there's a couple of positions. The only thing I didn't like about it, he's now my highest paid player, and I hated that. Yeah. But there was nobody else that I could get for the money that I had left. Bella Nuova is a right back Italian again, like I mentioned. You can play on both sides, which I quite like, to be fair. 36 million pound. Good signing. Hasn't really been playing for Bayern Munich, unfortunately. And Zakangi. 13 million pound. I really like this guy. He's only 32. But Lazio, for some reason, was willing to let him go after he's been playing for them every single season. And for three, 13 million pound as a backup for Rafael Leal. 32, though. Unbelievable. Ain't got an interest by the patrons of you. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. 30, he thinks 32 is old. You should see him. My 31st birthday, he tried selling me. Tried sticking <laughs> on the transfer list. Right. Mateo Sakangi was my final sign in. Tactically, I'm keeping it exactly the same. I'm not actually, actually I, I changed the player role to a box to box midfielder from a centre midfielder on attack. I feel like maybe that might be the reason why I maybe I leaked a little bit more goals, yeah. which cost me. But I only finished just behind you. I still won the cup. Champions League was just a little bit unlucky. I'm confident. I'm confident with what I've got. And I think I changed this role to a, a, a attacking midfield instead of a shadow striker. But other than that, Dad then, has he changed? No. He's learning. He hasn't changed tactics I when he wins the, I things. I won the league and I won the Champions League. Why would I change? Because we know what you're like. <laughs> like I said to you, I couldn't strengthen the... Well, I strengthened one position, didn't I? So uh, nothing else I could do with that team. Yeah, they uh, are a good team, so let's go for it. Your best 11 looks like this. Fraser Nader, Barella, yeah, he's in there, Bruno like. Gumarais, Yeah, That is Arrangio. so naughty, isn't it, that team, isn't it? Very good team. Oh, come on. Very good team indeed. I think we both built an incredible yes. size, really. I mean, when you look at it, really, what have we done now? It's, I've won the league twice and you've won the league twice. Yeah. And oh, I've come second twice, I think. You I've come, come third, third once. So we we just dominated this league. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm very surprised when you got Napoli, Juventus. Yeah. You know, and, and these other teams. Atalanta in, yeah. coming in. Yeah. Absolutely. So I was surprised that there were a couple of times another team didn't pep us. Yeah, for sure. I think I've gone more again the football manager player route, whereas you've gone the more popular named route. Yeah. I think like you know you've got some unbelievable players in there that people are maybe more aware of. I've gone for maybe the the players that people aren't as aware of, but I think that suits that's, how we play. I can say that's the difference between me and you, though. Yeah. Yeah, I know the name too, Dan. <laughs> when we're trying to buy a player, I take 15 minutes trying to find one player. He takes 10 minutes. He's bought seven players. It's exhausting. <laughs> it is exhausting. <laughs> but that's thanks to us having a full day to be able to do it yeah. now. Thank you very much to the Patreon members for allowing us to do that. Dropping Dad today at work. Okay, so this is on mine now. So schedule-wise, I've played two games. I've dropped points already. That was to Dad. That's the first time we've played each other at the start of the season. It was a two-all draw. I needed to 87th beat you. Pulisic equaliser. I needed, I needed 
to beat you there. He did, really. Uh, I also hammered Juventus 3-0, which was quite funny, to be fair. Uh, how did you get on in your other game, though, Dan? Because you played as well. Torino 2-0. And you won the Super Cup. We don't count Please any points that. for it. We didn't play no. each other, so it doesn't count for no. any points. Your Champions League fixtures look like this. you got Liverpool, Borussia Dortmund, Manchester oh. City. But you got an easier end. No, I'm happy end. with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that, actually. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, let's have a, let's have a look at what I've got to contend with in the Champions League. Again, I think I've got quite an easier end with Atletico and yeah. Copenhagen, but Liverpool in there in the middle and Manchester United You should United qualify as well, though. Definitely. I think yeah. we should both qualify quite easily, to be fair, in the top eight, really. Uh, okay. Okay final season remember the total points is dad at 15 omega luke at 22 so you've got seven points to try and win back can he do it in this final year i've got to win all three cups let's find out uh oh get in oh, that's three points all right, I'm, I've won the league three times. My palms are sweaty now. <laughs> okay, 91. Oh, it's only two points. I think you had a bad end of the season. Five losses. I only lost three. I lost less than you again. I keep dropping Please points tell me and you draws. Lost twice against me. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. That's a point. That's a point. Despite you winning the league. That only puts me two points ahead of you now. Two points ahead. Well, two points game, which means you're five points behind. Yeah. Let's take a look at the profile then. Sesco with 26. Natal Martinez with 26. Rafael Leal, 7.55 average rating. Baldanzi. I told you become good. Very good player indeed. Uh, has come into full form. My keeper form. was first again. Yeah. 21. Clean sheets. Yeah. With only only got 17 for Diogo Costa. Not bad at all. We're on Milan. Let's have a look at Inter and go on competitions. Come on. What have you done? Runner up in no. the Champions League. I nearly done it. I got to the final. Runners up. Please tell me I didn't lose against you though. PSG. Oh, they hammered me. 5-1. I've been knocked out at some point. Yeah, but... right. I had to win. If I had won that, mate, you'd have been sweaty bumping then, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, however, I have seen something. Semi-final by AC Milan. Oh, you beat me again. So I put you in the final. How did this go though? 5-1 on aggregate. Oh, I beat you both. Beat you oh. in both. So you beat me in the league and beat me twice there as well. Yeah. Oh, that's the three points gone. And then, did I go on and win the cup? That's the question. Come on. <laughs> Two points. I have absolutely dominated this cup. You have, Four yeah. out of five years. I didn't get him. I don't think I got to the final, did I? No. But there we go. I smashed you in that cup every single time. That's the first time I think we've met in the cup. Yeah. And I've knocked you out of the semi-final, which goes across two legs. That is a killer. Okay, interesting. The only thing we need to find out now is the Champions League run. Uh, so, league phase. Oh, we were both up there, to yeah. be fair. Well, we said we should have been, didn't we? Yeah, against Atletico. You lost one against Liverpool at Anfield. Nothing to be snuffed at, really. You drew to Porto. I drew to Liverpool. 9-0, I beat Copenhagen in the Champions League. <laughs> I, beat, I beat Man United at Old Trafford. You beat Man City Ooh. and Dortmund as well. That's both two good home. wins, isn't it? Two very good wins there. Uh, so that put us through to the round of 16, where we played Juventus. I beat Juventus. Why are we facing an Italian club? Yeah, I know. And Atalanta. That's annoying, I think. Yeah. I think that's a bug in the game. Yeah. I think that needs to be fixed. I don't think that's going to be happening in real life. Um, Shouldn't do, not, no. not then. Quarterfinals is where you probably should be eventually be able to play the clubs from the same country. Yeah. Uh, I knocked out Borussia Dortmund. You knocked out Manchester City, which oh. means I did go into the semi-final of the Champions League. Come on. It was either against PSG, Real Madrid, or Inter Milan. You knocked me out. Get <laughs> in. <laughs> Knock me out of the Champions League final. I'd rather have beaten you in the final, though. Yeah. That would have been better if we got got to the final each. Imagine that, if we got to the Champions League final. One was only a draw as well, so you didn't even get the points for that. Oh. You got a one point for the one leg, but the draw for the other. That's crazy that we face each other in the semi-final. Yeah. The <laughs> both games at the San Siro. That's mental. Where was the final played? I'm quite intrigued by that now. Uh, push gas read in Budapest. Not bad. Right. right. One, they got a mullet maybe, didn't they? Yeah. Inter Milan. 38 goals you had there for Lataro Martinez. Not bad at all. Transfer budget for the Patreon members. Only 68 million. There's a lot in the wage budget. You can probably move that up a little bit should you wish to. AC Milan. Let's have a look. 40 goals there for Benjamin Sesco. Rafael Leal with 30. That's his best season. That's incredible, really, for Rafael Leal. Uh, and finances for myself. Not only 60 million pounds. But again, you can move that up. It's quite, it's quite funny, isn't it? You've, you've built an attacking side and I've built a defending side. Yeah, very much so. 
Yeah. And look at that season that lasted. We both got to the semi finals of the Champions League. Yeah. It's good. It's close. Yeah. Well, speaking of close, let's have a look at the points for the final of this Milan oh, versus rebuild. Yeah, could have been close, couldn't it? Omega Dad had four points in that final season. I had six points, which puts our tally Omega Dad at 19, Omega Luke at 28. It was a lot less close than what I thought it was going to be, but yeah. that's thanks to, again, another win there in the Super Cup. I, I think, really, cup competitions lost me. Yeah, I mean, I dominated that cup. You, you won it four times? Yeah. That's eight points. Yeah. Dominated that cup, yeah. knocked you out in the final season. And, yeah, yeah. If you, you, know, you, only, you only had to beat me in those games as well. There's extra points there as well. Yeah. I think it's the cup, because I lost the cup games. I mean, I won the league three times and won the Champions League. Yeah. You won the league twice and won the Champions League. We're almost even there. Yeah, yeah. I think the thing that you really struggled with was you never, you were never eliminated by somebody big in the in, in the, the cup, cup no. until that last season. Yeah. You lost to I think it was Bologna one year, yeah. uh, Spezia another. Mm. You never really got to that cup no. final because you were losing to bad teams. Yeah. Well, not bad teams, but nowhere near as good as the side that you've got. The underdogs were defeating you in that cup final. Unfortunately, Dad, I'm the winner again this <laughs> Can't time round. Leave it. I keep the trophy. Give it here. Give it here. No, no, no. It's my trophy. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping it this time round. Thank you very much for yeah. watching. Keep well the done. suggestions coming in. Well done. And thank you very much for the support on the last one as well. The Celtic versus Rangers. No spoilers. If you haven't seen it, I'll stick it up on screen right now because you need to go and see that one. That yeah. one is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Just like this one has been. And we'll see you hopefully in a couple of weeks' time for the next versus rebuild. We still don't even know who we're going to do yet. Nope. So we're going to leave nope. it a little bit of a mystery. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.